it's been a roller coaster uh, preparing Teresa because compared to the repertoire that I normally sing, which is the Belcanto repertoire, it's my first time singing grand uh, Berlioz and it's been fun. I was in New York um, mainly uh, singing uh, Elisir d'Amore while I was preparing for this. So it's been a wonderful, you know, uh, bridge to come in and, and present Cellini here in Bastille. And I'm looking forward to it. It's a grand opera, big, big production, fantastic, incredible cast, amazing music. And so I'm looking forward to it. Of course, it's a new role, so a debut role is always a bit delicate, but I'm very excited to have a great support from the production team and my teammates who have actually sung the production before. And basically the artistry of actually probably try to bring what, have, what I have learned in singing, bel canto singing, and, and it's really um, going to be somehow easier with her romance that she sings in the first act and I'm looking forward to that. What I love the most about the, her part is that it is actually written so beautifully and so I'm hoping that I can actually make that come across the beauty of melody uh, by Berlioz. I love, for me personally, I love the French language. Um, I mainly sing Italian repertoire and I sing in Italian, I speak Italian, but since I started, uh, started learning um, speaking French and singing some of the French repertoire, it has really um, opened up another page in my, in my artistry that I'm looking forward to explore. Um, mainly, I love really the, de the delicacy of the language and there's just some beauty that is so unique compared to other languages and um, I love it I love it I look forward to see how it grows um, with more uh, French uh, roles that I have in the future oh I've learned so many things that I probably would have never learned about opera because it's an art that asks so much from a person and from a personal point of view. I, I, I had to leave home, I had to leave my family, I had to leave my country. I almost had to leave my own language, you know, with learning so many languages. But at the same time, the kind of growth that I have gotten and that I continue to pursue as, a, as an individual and also as an artist is something that I can really um, appreciate so much because the hardship and the difficulties that came or that come with the pretty journey <laughs> have a lot to, to do with a personal and unique journey. And I'm happy that I got to know about music and I have this great opportunity to explore more and learn about my voice and learn about different cultures and uh, learning about being human and in this grand uh, you know, art of opera. And it's something that is very precious. And I hope that as I grow as a person and as an artist, I can always remember that it's really mainly about the beauty and the gift of music for me and you all the, all the time. And that's the most important thing. I love Norina. I remember singing her for the first time at La Scala and then I had the second time to sing her in uh, Opera uh, Liceo in Barcelona. And um, she's fun, she's quirky, she loves to play and uh, I'm looking forward to see her back because I haven't sung her for a while. It will be my third production and I'm looking forward to it. It's again my journey back to Bel Canto, which really enables me to find more what my voice can do and what the artist, you know, what the art uh, asks, what the composer asks. And I always aspire to, to honor the score and um, incorporate with the production. And I look forward to it. For me, that's gonna be something that I really um, look forward to see how I interact with Violetta because she's going to be completely different to any character that I have sung on stage and that's why I, I, I had to take the time to wait and to do it when I think that I'm not only grown vocally but also psychologically and personally because I think 
uh, Violetta asks for the person, the growth and the fullness of experience uh, of full life. And of course, I haven't experienced everything that she has experienced, but um, I'm hoping that the maturity that, the maturity that I have acquired with performance, performances on stage around the world and the characters that I have played have uh, prepared me at least to take my first attempt at Violetta. It's, a, it's, it's an amazing role, it's historic, and it will be an honor for me to sing it in Paris, in Garnier. I mean, it's a dream come true. And I look forward to make music with Michele Mariotti, and so, and a wonderful cast. And so I really believe that I will be in perfect company of greatness and that I hope that in, in one way I can contribute my Violetta and um, hopefully it will be memorable in a fantastic way. <laughs> oh.